Good morning. I'd like to express my gratitude to the organizers of the Media, Language, and Society, Perspectives and Reflections on the, the Medianization of Culture Conference. My name is Elizabeth Bishop, and it's my great pleasure to be working with you today. Under the Ministry for Scientific Research, a general director of the Scientific Research and Technological Development implements Law Number 9811 of 29 of the Asteni 1419, which corresponds to August 22nd of 1998. This law implements a global direction the, the immediate online free availability of research outputs without the severe restrictions on use commonly imposed by publisher copyright agreement concerning the output that scholars normally give away free to be published peer reviewed journals. What Algeria implemented during 1998, I'd like to talk about in the context of the San Francisco Declaration and the European Commission's uh, Open Research Europe project. I'd like to speak with you today about the Algerian Scientific Journals platform as an open source resource for historians. I bring this up in the context of the San Francisco Declaration on Research Assessment from 2012, the following year. At that point in time, a group of academics stated there's a pressing need to improve ways in which the output of scientific research is evaluated by funding agencies, academic institutions, and other parties. To address this issue, a group of editors and publishers of scholarly journals met during the annual meeting of the American Society for Cell Biology in San Francisco on December 16th. 2012. This group developed a set of recommendations, referred to as the San Francisco Declaration on Research Assessment, inviting interested parties across all scientific disciplines to indicate their support by adding their names to the declaration. In this declaration, they stated the outputs from scientific research are many and varied, including research articles, according to knowledge, data, reagents, and software intellectual property, as well as highly trained young scientists, funding agencies, institutions that employ scientists and scientists themselves, all have a desire and a need to assess the quality and impact of scientific output. It's thus imperative that scientific output is measured accurately and evaluated wisely. Frequently, the journal impact factor is used as a primary parameter with which to compare the scientific output of individuals and institutions. The journal impact factor is calculated by a company, Thomson Reuters, originally created as a tool to help librarians identify journals to purchase, not as a measure of the scientific quality of research articles, of research in an article, of research articles per se. With that in mind, it's really important to understand that the journal impact factor has a number of well-documented deficiencies when it's used as a tool for research assessment. These deficiencies include that the citation distributions within journals are highly skewed, that the properties of the journal uh, impact factor are field-specific, and that it's a composite of multiple highly diverse article types, so that journal impact factor can be very easily manipulated by editorial policies. There is evidence that open research practices bring significant benefits to researchers relative to more traditional closed practices. And in a world in which hierarchical access to commodified knowledge reproduces the racialized categories of colonialism, the open source publication of research in the social sciences plays an essential role in developing a decolonial curriculum. It's in this uh, specific sense that I look at the 1998 formation of the Algerian Scientific Journals platform as the manifestation of a direction which would be later articulated in the San Francisco Manifesto of 2011 and in the European Union's policy of last year. Of five jurisdictions bordering the South Mediterranean, Let's address them from west to east, beginning with Morocco on the Atlantic coastline and leaving Algeria for last, they are Tunisia, Libya, and Egypt. As a general observation impact factor, 
claims to measure the importance or rank of a journal by calculating the number of times this article is cited. Expressed as a percentage, the impact factor of a given journal claims to measure the frequency with which an average article in that particular journal has been cited during a given year. It's so exciting to be a part of this conference deliberations. I'd like to again express my gratitude to the organizers for bringing us together in this conversation. I'm so impressed to be um, part of a group of presenters with a 70-page list of abstracts in which we approach questions of the medium and the message in the era of social media from diverse perspectives. We're coming at this not only from the position of the Global North, some of our colleagues in Texas, but also from the position of the Global South, some of our colleagues from Costa Rica, uh, as well as Algeria and other African jurisdictions. It's wonderful to have these many points of input to raise these questions about access to information about what the meaning of literacy is precisely at these moments where the global pandemic has made our conversations both more tenuous and easier. Again, I'm so excited to be part of this conversation. As much as I look forward to our sustained interactions through the electronic media, I also look forward to opportunities to pick up our conversations that we begin this way, in a face-to-face -face basis and on an institution-to-institution -institution basis at the first possible opportunity. Again, colleagues, congratulations on this wonderful organization, and I look forward to learning so much from your individual presentation, as well as to the opportunity to develop our conversations more deeply in the coming weeks, months, and years. Again, thank you and best wishes.